Hey guys, okay, I think I'm live. I am back today with um, something I'm pretty excited about because these are the very first plates um, that are made by Lantern and Wren. So you know Lantern and Wren as a store where you can go and find all kinds of great stuff for nails and nail art, especially nail stamping. Um, but uh, Carly decided to make her own line of plates and that is super exciting for me because who would know more about the kinds of things that people buy than somebody who sells these things? So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to show you each of the plates and then I'm going to show you some looks that I did with the plates. Uh, and then, of course, I will recap and show you again. So let's start here with the feline like spring plate, which makes me giggle every time I see it because I love a good plate pun. So this is a combination of spring looks and cat looks. And literally, a lot of these images are a combination. So they're cats that have tails that curl into flowers and cool stuff like that. Bunches of cute little cats here on the side to play around with. All right, here is the Girls Just Wanna Have Sun plate. And this, of course, is mostly meant for, you know, summer and kind of beachy stuff. Sorry about my throat. I'm recovering from a, um, <clears throat> a cold. So I have a little bit of coffee stuff and some gravelly, or I guess my sexy cat voice. I don't know. Uh, and one of the things I want to remember to say is that there are um, some cool la layering images. Hey, I did. I had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, too. Um, there's some really cool layering images on all of these plates, or most of these plates, like this little layering crab there, which is really cool because with the little tiny image like this, it, when you lead light, or excuse me, when you reverse stamp, um, you can do it, you know, but I'm not as young as I used to be, and getting in there with the little tiny thing with my shaking hands and my eyesight, it's a lot easier for me to just be able to stamp that and then stamp over this. So I love layering images. Okay, the next one is a backgrounds plate. So this plate is, of course, something... Yes, this these are $9.99 right now, and they'll be $9.99, I believe, and through the, through the end of Sunday, and then they're going to go up to $14.99. And I'm not sure if it's a special thing that she has just for in-group, but if you buy all six plates, you get a seventh plate for free. That is a plate you can't buy. Um, I'm that, But if you're not a member of her Facebook group, you can become a member of her Facebook group. I'll link that down when I'm done with the description. But for now, the, the title is All About That Stamp. And if you stick that into Facebook, it'll pop up and it'll say Lantern and Wren. So you'll know you're in the right group. Um, so $9.99 each. Uh, they're going to go up to $14.99 after the Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. And if you buy six, you get a seventh plate free. Okay, so this one is the backgrounds plate. And this is one of those great plates where you've got all these images that you can use on their own. But then they're also great for layering with other images. So like I just showed you that cat plate. How cute would it be to have like this as yarn for string and then have a couple of the kitties playing with the yarn. So I love images like this for that reason and plates like this because you get so much versatility. Okay, so this one is um, finally fall. Finally fall. And I see that a few people have joined us. So I'm showing the plates right now and then I'm going to show some looks that I did. And here you got a lot of the layering images on this one. So all your kinds of jack-o'-lantern little faces here. And you've got your pumpkin and your trees. And she has some um, full nail images too. Hey, good to see you. Uh, and so like this is um, some leaves that you can do the stem separately from the regular um, uh, leaves. So she's got a nice little smattering of layering images. Like here you go for your tree so you can get your trunk and your leaves a different color if you want to but if you don't want to you've just got that cool image there too so <laughs> already ordered that's it be efficient don't wait around don't mess around seriously um so lots of cool fun uh, fall images on that one and here we have dance to the music so and i love i love all of these different positions so especially if you're a dancer or if you have you know a daughter or a son that dances there's just so much you can do with this and you can get any kind of thing that they do or positions that they're good at or you know whatever they love and uh, so that's the dancing one here is the all things spring one so this is of course you know it's meant to be spring but of course when you've got flowers and stuff it's for summer depending on the colors that you use you can make it all year round so and then there were a couple of layering ones i'm going to show you a few more here but like this little birdie is a layering image and then you've got your little flowers and that's just a pain in the butt if you're going to let light or uh, reverse stamp it's just hard to get in there with these little things so i like that she did some some nice little 
little layering images on that. Okay, so quickly before um, before I show you the looks, let's take a look. Now, there's a little bit of a difference here on some of these plates. Here, let me get a little bit, shed a little bit more light on the subject here. Um, so this, these are, it looks like 1.7 centimeters wide, and it looks like uh, about maybe 2.1 centimeters tall on this plate. And most of the plates have the full nail images are that size, but there was one in here I noticed that she gave you it was a little bit more generous. The, um, the girls just wanna have sun plate. The full nail images are a little bit bigger here. So on this one, we're looking at 2.2 centimeters about wide and uh, all, two and a half, two and a half centimeters tall. So if you have really long nails and you really need XL images, definitely keep this one in mind. The others are a little bit smaller, but still very generous. I think um, my nails are kind of, yeah, I would call them on the short-ish side for sure. But, you know, you can see even as mine grow out, I'm going to do pretty well with that. In terms of quality, I found the quality of these were great. So all the swatches I'm going to show you, I did with a clear stamper. I had no problems picking anything up at all. Um, they are etched very well, so you're not going to have a problem with that. Um, what I did notice was on a couple of these where you've got... Um, images that are really, really close together like this. You might have, um, if you use raw cotton, you might have some of your fibers attach. Um, my trick for that is I just take um, scotch tape, lay it down, pull it back up, all the fibers come right back off, no problem. And I would much rather have that than a plate that's a nightmare to try to get an image to pick up with the clear stamper. Okay, so let's look at um, Feline Lake Spring. And let me show you the looks that I did here. So the first thing I wanted to do was I pulled this image here. Um, all right, let me wrangle the light here. Okay, I'm gonna push this. Nope, that's not gonna work here. Here's what we'll do. There we go, yes. All right, so I wanted to get this kind of rain-like image here. Um, so I stamped that over pink and then I just stamped this cute little kitty guy with the umbrella. And so with my nail, you can see that's how much of that is going to fit on my nail. Um, but I think that looks cute either on a shorter nail or on a longer nail where you can get more of that rain. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Oops. Ah, you can tell I'm so not used to doing live stuff. All right. Here is one I did. I just striped this, but you can do a gradient would give it a little bit more of a subtle look. Um, let me find the right image there. And I just stamped the white kitties over that. And I think if you're a cat lover, it doesn't get cuter than that. Um, and then I do like that she's given you like not every image is a cat image, but they're meant to all go together so that if you want to have cats on a couple of nails and not on a couple of others and get a blend, you can still do that. And let me just say, sorry, I actually literally did these in the car as I was going to Thanksgiving dinner yesterday. So it's kind of like, what is it? The, the cobbler sh kids never have shoes. The, the nail bloggers nails always end up janky on, on Thanksgiving day. Sorry. So back to the, back to the point, Michelle. So um, I love this with the arrows. And again, just super easy, super quick, picked up with my clear stamper. No problem at all. All right. Now let's take a look at um, the backgrounds. So here's one I did with um, just quickly silver over red. And you can do that on the, that's beautiful, especially for the holidays, that would be a beautiful image, um, a beautiful manicure. But like, look how cute it would be if you stamped this in black over like swimming across the nail. That would be adorable. So always when you get a plate like this, if you're an experienced stamper, you know this, but if you're on the beginning side, always with a plate like this, look at how you can combine these kinds of images with your other images and get the full use out of your plate. All right, this one is an optical illusion and I love the optical illusion. So just to show you how well that came out. And again, clear stamper, picked it beautifully. And then the last one I did with this plate was the beehive image here. And how adorable would that be with like bees dancing around on it? Just super, super cute. All right, let's move on. And since I have this one up, we'll do the girls just want to have sun next. All right, so for the first look I did here, I just did a smoosh mani with some yellow and orange and stamped that over in white. And I think that is a super fun manicure, super easy for um, summer kind of look. 
This one, I'm not sure how well this is going to come out on camera. I just wanted to make this look like footprints in the sand, like when somebody's been walking in the sand. So I just stamped the slightly lighter on the slightly darker. I think the visual effect would be better if I'd done it the other way and stamped the slightly darker on the slightly lighter. So there you go. Learn from my mistake. And then the last one I did here, I wanted to remind you, you guys know when you watch my videos, I always tell you to think outside the box and don't get stuck on the, the label uh, that's on your plate. But so this is a gorgeous holiday look, I think, with this gold. It's almost like poinsettias over the red. So even though this is a summer plate, and this would be great in pinks and oranges for for um, summer and tropical kind of manis, uh, don't forget to, to look at it through those other kind of color eyes as well. All right, this is the finally fall again. And this, probably because we're just coming out of Halloween, is one of my favorites in the bunch. The, the cat one is my favorite. I'm not even going to lie. I'm a cat lady. I love the cats. I, anything with cats. Um, so, of course, I had to do just, you know, the black over the orange there. Just super fun. And combining it with any of these little layering ones she has would be great. I wanted to test out the full uh, nail layering images. And so this is... Um, just some great leaves. And now this is a fall plate, but notice that I use the summer colors there. So you can get a great summer mani, even though this is a fall plate. You guys know that. You don't need me to tell you that, but you know, just in case you need reminding. Okay, so here is, um, here's this layering tree. So I started with this full nail image up here and stamped that in white over the beige and then did a brown trunk and a sort of a bronzy kind of leaf to get that fall look. And it took me no time flat, and that's just an adorable result that you get. All right, let's look at the dance to the music. And the one I want to highlight on here at first is this Don't Stop the Party image, because this is a negative space image. So I, I, this was, um, this was white and, or hollow, I can't remember now. And then I stamped black over it is the point. So when you get a big open image like this, if you guys are advanced stampers, you know this. Um, if you scrape like this, your your uh, scraper is going to kind of fall, dent in, and you're going to get stripes, and it's going to look really horrible. So what I do when I'm working with an image like this is I scrape diagonally, and that makes it less likely that your, your scraper is going to dent into the polish because it sort of has a more even um, area to go across. The other thing I do is I scrape very lightly with these so that you're getting most of your, your polish is going to stay there, and if you do that, this you're going to get a beautiful, perfect image. This was my first time trying to stamp that black over there, and it looks gorgeous. So great quality is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I love images like this for kind of like a French tip look. So I wanted to throw that over there and show you how cute that is. Simple, super simple look. And then for this one, I stamped these music notes in the pink and then just picked out some of these gorgeous like contemporary, I guess this one might be ballet dancers doing their thing and stamped them over black. And I just... I think this is such a fun plate. All right, and then for the last one, the All Things Spring Plate, I started out with this one because I love All Things Stained Glass. And let me make sure you can see here. I went in with this, just stamped it in silver over black, and then just dotted it literally with my dotting tool with an interference top coat. And you get, I hope that picks up, you can get this beautiful look and no time flat, adorable. All right, for this one, I just did the pink roses over white to show you how simple it is to get cute. That'd be cute for spring. It'd be cute for Valentine's Day. Love it. And these almost kind of look like hearts to me. They're not, but they would go really well with hearts, I think. Um, hold on. See, when I do that in a video, when I'm, when I'm taping a video, I do that a lot of times and I cut it out. Not good to do when you're on live, Michelle. Okay, so the last one here is, I thought this looked like um, rain. So I stamped it as rain over the blue background for a nice little spring look there. And then layered these flowers and super easy to get that little delicate look just by layering those really quickly. Okay, so if you have any questions, throw them up. I'm going to do a final recap and show you all the plates again. This is all things spring. And just to give you another look, if you missed the very beginning at what all is on the plate. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to say again, $9.99 right now while it's Cyber um, Black Friday through Cyber Monday. Uh, and I think you might have to be a member of the Facebook group for this. But if you buy all six of the plates, you get a seventh plate for free. 
Uh, this is the finally fall. So, and the price goes up after the Black Friday weekend sale to $14.99. Uh, so if you do find something here that you like, of course, Black Friday is always going to be the time to grab it. And I will link the Facebook group down below so you can join if you want to, if that deal is exclusive. I'm not sure. That's the backgrounds plate. Um, but it is all about that stamp. And if you stick that in Facebook, it'll pop up and it'll show Lantern and Wren so you, you'll know you're in the right place. And this is the cat plate, which seriously, this plate just gives me life. I love this blade so much. It's so adorable. All right. Thank you guys. I know that it's a busy day today. So thank you guys for coming and checking this out and going live with me. It was great to see you and I hope you have a wonderful Black Friday and a wonderful weekend. Mwah, 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 mwah. See you soon.